Hello everyone, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain about the robot application and robot anatomy. Robot is a reprogrammable multifunctional manipulator designed to move materials, parts, tools, special devices through a through variable programmed motions for performance of variety of tasks. To perform a variety of tasks, okay, here the whatever the machine we are going to use that is a reprogrammable and multifunctional manipulator and which are particularly designed for performing the these different tasks that is called as a robot and robot can also be explained in such a way that a robot is a machine especially one programmable by a computer capable of carrying out a complex series of actions automatically here the complex works can be carried out and a series of continuous series of the uh, actions can be carried out on this a robot can be guided by an external control device the externally the control device can be used to control it or the control may be embedded within within that robot itself the control will be, may be present like that human robot in that the control will be present within only the robots may be constructed to evoke human form okay here the whatever the human form is there that won't be to work his work to reproduce it the robot is constructed but most robots are task performing machines in the industrial applications the robots are task performing machines designed with an emphasis on the stark functionality rather than the expressive aesthetics here it will not having any expressions the looking aesthetics it is not happening but here the whatever the task is there that is important and whatever this function is there that is important to perform from the robot that is called as robot then here we will see that one where we are going to use the robot and that is discussion carried out here a robot that is used to perform the task in industries is called an industrial robot particularly here we will discuss about the industrial robot an industrial robot can perform wide range of industrial tasks like loading, unloading, building, painting, inspection, assembly, material transfer, etc. Then if you study about this, that is the construction, working, functioning of all these robots and what is called, how we are going to develop this one, all these whatever the science is there the technology is that that also we need to study that is a robotics a robotics then robotics can be defined as field of technology that deals with the conception design construction operation and applications of robots here from the initially the what the intended to do that work and later design of that one construction operation applications all these whatever we are going to study that is called as a robotics then robots possesses anthropomorphic characteristics that means the meaning like a human like characteristics the robots are having the human like characteristics for the uh, service industry if you use the human just like a human being it will work in the industrial work, the robot machines, if you are going to use, there also the human beings, what the work are to be carried out, that it will do. That it will have the human like characteristics, such as mechanical arm, the mechanical arm which is resembling a human arm. The human arm, what the work can perform, all the work can be performed by the mechanical arm of the robot. To perform a variety of the tasks, capability to respond to sensory inputs, communication, interacting, interaction, talking. All these are to be carried out. Here 
to perform the variety task that the, which should be capable to respond the sensory inputs here the inputs are given as a sense sensor through the sensors as a signals we are going to give and it should communicate and it interact at taking decisions that one all this said whatever the variations are required all it also carried out that is about the robotics next we will go for that is robot anatomy robot anatomy means here the what are the different joints and links which are used in the robots the physical construction of the robot all the different parts study about it is called as a robot anatomy what the totally the whatever the its performance sensors signals all these things if you study that is called as robotics only if you study the joints and links and the physical construction of the robot what is there that is the robot anatomy that here i can say the robot anatomy deals with the study of the different joints and links other aspects of the manipulator's physical construction a robotic joint provides the relative motion between the two links of the robot each joint or axis provides a certain degree of freedom of motion the each joint whatever is there which will move in the certain axis that we will call as a degree of freedom of motion here the simple ro robot construction is shown it is a robot base and it is having the first uh, link zero the initial link is called as the link zero and which is connected to a link one by using the joint one okay the whatever the input the moments are given that is passed through a joint one to the link one and later the joint two which connects between the link one and the link two here the whatever the input link action will be transferred to the link two like this the end effector from the input what are the moment we are going to give at the end effector it will have the perform the different moments different motions depending upon the application and the requirement and that is the about all these things you understand the link and physical construction what is there we are what we are going to study that is called as a robot anatomy then the what are the physical the whatever the components of the robots are there these will take one by one the first one is the manipulator the whatever the providing the movements okay just like a arm that will call as a manipulator that is manipulator is an arm like mechanism the manipulator is an arm like mechanism which is designed to manipulate or move the materials how the arm moves the materials okay that is like that it will be manipulated to the move to the materials or parts or tools without direct human contact that you see here without direct human contact human contact is there but direct human contact is not there that means here the already the human being is uh, that is uh, written a program and he is given the instruction for the performance of that robot and as per that instruction what is given in the computer it will give the signal for the operation okay then it will be the whatever the action what is required that will be carried out the task what is required that is carried out okay that is without direct human contact the human being directly not involved indirectly he is involved that is called as manipulator then joint a joint is the one that integrates two or more links to provide the controlled relative movement between input link and the output link here the joint which will be connects the two links to provide the relative movement between the input and the output link then third one is the link the link is a rigid member that connects the joint okay the link is connected okay to the joints that is the rigid member link can be an input link or an output link the movement of input link causes various motions of the output link. the input link movement what is that it will causes the output link for the its movement the fourth one is the degree of freedom degree of freedom describes robots freedom of motion in three dimensional space the three dimensional space whatever is there in that 
in how many directions the whatever the robot will move the robot action will be performed that is called as a degree of freedom usually the 3 degree of freedom 4 degree 5 degree up to the 60 degrees of freedom the the robot movements the robot motion will be there the fifth one is end effect the end effect means end actually what work is to be carried out that is called as the end effect the end effect or end of arm tool is the device at the end of the robotic arm which is shaped like a hand or a special tool depending upon the application the end effect it may be a tool or it may be just like a hand like a safe or it may be any other thing depending upon the where we are using and what is its application the last one is the base the support for the robot arm is called as a, the base the whole robot arm whatever is there for that whatever support we are going to provide that is called as a base next as we were discussing about the joints and links here the main parts of the joints and links in the robot and what are the different types of the joints and links are there there are five types of the joints and links are there these are called as a first one is a rotational joint or the r joint here the joint whatever is there about which the joint a link will rotate about the link the joint will rotate that is called as a, a rotational joint the linear joint or the l joint here the about the joint the linear movement of the links will be forms the input and output link will move linearly third one is orthogonal joint or the o joint the orthogonal joint or o joint means here the one is the moving rotating or moving the other one it is a linear motion it is having the linear motion about the that joint that is the orthogonal joint that one it will push usually about the o okay in order to depending upon the rotation or a linear motion of the input link the fourth one is the twisting joint or the t joint here about the link it turns the output link turns about the joint and that is called as a twisting the twisting is taking place between the input link and the output joint that's why it's called as a twisting joint then revolving joint or a v joint this about the joint it will revolves it will revolves that one it will revol revolving action is shown like this this is the joint the input link output link will revolves about the joint that's called as a revolving joint by using these different joints and links there are different robot configurations are formed and i'll discuss the different robot configurations and their applications in the next session thanks for watching if you like share subscribe